on a Monday. Happy to see some sun in the forecast. That's just what we have even currently on our downtown sky cam. There's a few lighter clouds that are overhead, but it's still very bright outside. And this is how every Monday should be. It just make things a little bit easier. Everybody just has a little more pep in their step when we have sunny conditions and you will find that the sun will last through much of the day today. As we look at the cloud tracker that we have seen some lighter clouds, we'll have them thicken just a little bit as we go into the afternoon, but you will be finding for the majority of the day. We are still getting very close to those sunny conditions here. And then as we head into the evening, we'll still have those partly cloudy skies. It's a pretty quiet forecast, so if it's going to be quiet, let's hopefully keep that sun here in the 419. Now, if you're going to be going out and about, I understand why the forecast is looking fantastic for a Monday. We're eyeing that high of 74 degrees and it'll be pretty warm and also comfortable because dew points are going to be hanging on the lower side. So we have dry air in place to where you really don't notice much as far as humidity. Just grab your sunglasses, sunscreen and even a ball cap. If you have one, uh, you're going to want it to be outside. It doesn't take long. That sun angle quite high and you're going to notice that sunburn before you know it. Now the best heat if you're waiting for the warmest of hours going to be in the afternoon. We're talking between three and six o'clock. So before dinner, that's when you're going to want to head out there. But even after dinner, before sunset, still going to be just as nice. You'll have some sun hanging on and you'll also have the dry conditions to go with it. We'll just be slipping out of those 70s and then headed back into the 60s for the evening. But still a very nice day to go and enjoy the Metro Parks. And though the biggest week in American birding has wrapped up, you will find though that we are still spotting, of course, our feather friends here and thankfully holding on to a nice forecast for those who are maybe just holding on a little bit longer. Now, as we look at the rain chances ahead, we do have a slight chance for a few showers further south tomorrow. So that's why we have just that 20% chance isolated there. But otherwise, it's mainly dry here, here through the week. It's Friday that we do see our best chance for some showers and storms in the forecast. So we'll be keeping an eye to the Friday conditions that we have setting up. But for now, Saturday and Sunday looking good for the weekend ahead. Of course, excited to see that as well. Maybe Mother's Day weekend. It was looking a little shaky, but those clouds Though they held on, they didn't bring us too much as far as that rainfall. Now, we do still have some pretty mild conditions in place. You're going to find that we have 64 in Toledo, mid 60s for many of us, but yet we've also had some rain into the central plains. So it's a little bit cooler in those locations that saw rain yesterday for Mother's Day. And wow, 80s in Nashville, Memphis, Tennessee, a warm one. Of course, they have some heat further south, but we're not in too bad a shape. We're just about where we should be for this point in May. Even when we look at the Almanac, we should be seeing highs around 73 degrees. And that's really close to where we're going to be when I was talking about that 74 and lows are also on track. It's really nice to see a forecast that is allowing us to be very seasonal. We should be in the lower 50s just where we were this morning. So happy to see that and nothing as far as records. We're not talking 90s. We're not talking 30s. So there's no new ink in the record books with us talking seasonal conditions. Then it's hard to find those extremes, but you're also going to notice that we're really getting into some of the longest days as far as our daylight. The sunrise this morning that was at 616 and that sunset getting close to nine o'clock. We're going to find that to be around 848 PM today, but at the end of the month, that sunset time is going to be after nine o'clock. So we are still gaining that daylight as we go through May, but that just means that we can have more fun outside when we have a really nice forecast like what we have. Now looking at high temperatures, you're going to find that, well, if these bars did line up, so let's kind of go and fix that up a little bit. You're going to find here that we do have some warmth tomorrow, but fairly seasonal to get us started today. A cold front drops us well below average into the 60s on Wednesday, and then we go between the 70s, lower 70s and upper 70s. Either way, we're still pretty close to those averages because average for today is 73. Average in 10 days from now is 76. And you can see those 60s not pretty common through the weekend and next week. We're still eyeing those mid 70s, so we will be getting there and getting close to seasonal conditions. So overall, it's a very spring, early summer, May forecast that we have for the days to come. So enjoy this nice spring feeling. Of course, as we do have that rain chance further south tomorrow, you are going to find that radar. It's going to be a helpful tool to keep an eye on things. That's free, of course, with the WTOL 11 weather app. And you'll also be keeping an eye on the daily tab, the hourly tab, eyeing those temperatures, see what's coming up I, with the nice weather. I know a lot of people are going to be outside, so just stay on top of the weather with the WTOL 11 weather app.
Now, I want to give a heads up because we don't have any issues as far as the algal bloom yet. Our water temperature is not quite warm enough to see that bloom starting to take off. But we do have that first forecast coming out for the algal bloom. And well, let's set the stage of where we've been. Looking at a scale from about zero to eight here, you're gonna find that typically we kind of fall between that four, even up towards a seven. Back in 2019, we were right at an eight. Now in 2015, of course, I'm sure a lot of you remember that, we were at a 10 that year. So we've just kind of been hovering, though a little bit of climbing here through this decade. A current picture, this is from last week when we had those clear skies, we were able to get a nice look satellite of uh, using the satellite of Lake Erie. And you can see it's not kind of that bright line green color. So there are no active blooms on Lake Erie at this point. And we are forecasting for 2023 that bloom to be between about a three and a six. So that's going to be pretty comparable if we're at that three up to a six. That's going to be pretty close to where we have been the last couple of seasons. So just something to keep in mind for our boaters or folks who like to head out to the lake that that's what we're eyeing as far as the algal bloom as we go through. As we look at some of that data, the bloom as far as well, what plays into that is based on the forecast. So as far as that runoff or even that load that was sent off into Lake Erie, you're going to find in March that that load was a little bit above average. And then in April, well, then we were on the other side. We had that runoff that was below average. And this is based off of your precipitation. So if you have a lot of rain, then of course, then you typically see a larger load, less rain, you don't have as much runoff. So just an easy way to keep an eye on the forecast is not just worrying about our grass and maybe what's in the rain gauge, but how is that going to play out for Lake Erie as well? So looking kind of back at some of that monthly rainfall, it makes sense when we look at the data. You're going to find in March that we were 1.2 inches, about an inch and a quarter above average. So that was an additional rainfall that we saw, of course, leading to that above average runoff. And then we were seeing a deficit in April. We were under an inch as far as what we were lacking in that rain gauge. So that means, of course, below average runoff in April. So we'll see what we have here for May once we get to the end of the month. And of course, precipitation going into June and July really going to play a factor in that bloom as we go through. So we'll be keeping an eye to it, of course, here on WTOL 11 plus, but also on the WTOL 11 weather app. And that extended forecast, you're going to find that we have 70s here to get us to through the start of the week. Cold front advances through Tuesday night, leaving us a cooler Wednesday, 67. Dry weather, pretty quiet here. And then you'll see that those 70s come back, watching for those storms as we go into your Friday. But thankfully, the weekend looking dry. Grab your sunglasses, your ball cap, your sunscreen. You're going to be using it because I know a lot of us are going to be outside when we're talking dry weather. Low to mid 70s. Hopefully, we can also keep that humidity down as well. Of course, we'll keep an eye on that when that starts to climb, but for now, it's a great forecast to get out and about, so make sure you enjoy it.